Alrighty, we are back again in uh, the truck, American Truck Simulator. We're actually using a different truck today. I believe this is the Peterbilt 386 we're going to be rocking today. Uh, I decided to switch it up because we've been using the Mac for quite some time now. Figured we'd switch it up, use a different truck, see how that goes. Uh, this is a truck that I've had for a little while. It has... I think it said like 8,000 miles on it, so it doesn't have a bunch. We're going to be going Van Horn to uh, Odessa. No. New Mexico? No, Odessa's in... I already forget. I don't know. We'll we'll figure it out when we get to the, tra when we get to the trailer. Uh, this one's a little bit longer. It's got a little bit bigger nose on it, so we will um, we'll see how that goes. But uh, we're we're off. I must say I'm thoroughly enjoying the uh, truck sim videos. This is a game that I actually, this is one of the games that I will play just like when I'm, you know, not playing with friends or sometimes if my friends aren't doing anything, um, they'll ask me to, you know, throw it up on a stream or whatever so they have something to watch. It's just one of those chill games that you, ju you just kind of get in the truck and go, you know, there's no real stress, there's no... Um, you know, there's really nothing you need to learn. Um, you just kind of, you just kind of do it, and uh, you know, you learn as you go. So we are, we are leaving Van Horn, and having some primary issues. So hopefully that fixes itself. I'm not sure what that's all about. We'll, uh, we'll see where this takes us. We are going to be going up to New Mexico, I just don't remember exactly where in New Mexico we're going. Um, and we'll, I mean, we'll figure that out once we get there. There's another Peterbilt right next to us. That's neat. And I clearly went the wrong way because it's having me go in a perfect loop again, so... Whatever, we'll loop back through Van Horn. What could have hurt? Get out of the way. Actually, we can use him as like a buffer for that for that right turn. We use use his truck. They're not gonna hit me. They're gonna hit him. What with the the rock and pop section of the YouTube Studio library today, um, something different than what we've been listening to. Um, I don't remember what we've been listening to. Maybe some of the, I feel like it was some of the classical stuff. Uh, definitely wasn't this, so. Listen to some of this. Where does it want us to go? Oh! Where do you go, idiot? Oh, moron. I apologize. We're going in here. We're going into GMC. This is where our trailer is. I'm going to pick something up from GMC. I'm not sure what it is. We'll find out here in a minute. See what our load is. Looks like... Oh, glass. Like windshields and windows and stuff. We're going to Hobbs. Hobbs, New Mexico. That's right. And our trailer should be right there, actually. Go ahead and get lined up with that. It is hot and sticky in the room that I do my recording in, so that's not great. I apologize if you have to listen to me scrape my arms off of the the desk every now and again because it is um, it's quite moist in here today. A little brutal. It was kind of kind of warm and sticky today. Um, New England, where I'm from, so. All right, let's get to it. What did we talk about in the last video? I feel like we talked about a bunch of stuff. Specifically, the um, 
the submarine. So I'm not going to talk about that. It's submersible. They're not even calling it a submarine. Uh, submersible. I'm, there was a reason for it. I don't remember what it is. We're not talking about it, though. We're not talking about it. We talked about it the last two streams. I'm not talking about it. We'll find something else to talk about. Something else has to be of topic of this video because I'm all done with the submarine. I don't want to talk about it anymore. I don't want to bring it up. And yet we're still talking about it. What did I do today? We did my garden. That was alright, I guess. Um, I got attacked by my cat. My cat likes to do this thing where when you're outside, he'll... Um, find a bush hide in it he'll do his little tail wag and then um, it's really a full body wag because he doesn't have a tail that's a story for another time or maybe later on we'll see um, and he just jumps out and he attacks your ankles like with his full mouth he'll wrap his mouth around your ankle and just go to town on it for two seconds scare himself and then leave and go run off and do something else that I don't know. I mean, I don't even know what he does most of the time when he's outside. He just kind of disappears and wanders. I want to get... Is it inhumane to put an air tag in your cat? Or like a, a camera? Because I'm interested. Because outdoor cats, you see them all the time running around in the street and whatever. Um, where are these cats coming from? Are they... I mean, we have a lot of, like, barn cats, like... Uh, I don't think feral is the right word, but they just kind of roam free. They're not anybody's cat. They're just basically mass breeded and released to the world. So we have a bunch of those around. But, like, where do these cats go? They can't possibly have an agenda every day when they go out. I, I want to put either a camera or an air tag on my cat, maybe on his collar or something. Just see what he does when he goes outside. He's a weird cat too. He's not he's not a normal cat. He's an orange cat, which I found out after I moved in with my girlfriend who owns the cat that orange cats are the weirder cats out of the cat family. I just said cat like 15 times in that one sentence. I don't know. It's it's strange. I wonder why the orange ones are notoriously more weird than the other ones. I don't know. To ask a scientist or something. Because I have many scientists I can ask, I guess. I don't know. Whatever. Anyway. Curious. Curious. But anyway, his tail. Let's talk about it. Let's talk about his tail for a second. He doesn't have a tail anymore. He's a nub. From, from what I was told, that when he came home one day from being out and adventuring, again, doing stuff nobody, nobody knows. Nobody knows where this cat goes or what he does. But um, he was out adventuring, taking on the world by, you know, by himself. And uh, he came back with um, not a full tail. Instead, it was a partial tail. And the rest of the tail was hanging off. So they rushed him to the vet. I, I would assume cut the rest of his tail off and just le left him with a nub. So he's just got a nub. He, he, he does a full body wiggle now because he can't wiggle his his tail anymore because it's not there so he just does a whole little butt wiggle wiggles his whole body instead I guess that's not super weird is it I don't know whatever it's an animal he bonds with us for like two seconds and then gets tired of us and leaves so it's all good it's all good in the hood Yeah, so we're out here. i am uh, got work for the next couple days, so I probably won't produce much content. Um, I work night shift, so I'll be gone when I usually am creating content. So probably won't have a video up for a couple days. I think you'll survive, the two people that watch these. So yeah, we're going to leave Texas, we're going to go up to New Mexico, we'll probably start our voyage north, um, 
I would like to do... I talked to one of my buddies today, and he lost his wheel. He doesn't know where it went. Um, but I'd like to do a convoy with him or somebody else at some point. Just because it's fun, you know, get other people in the in the video. So you don't have to just listen to my annoying voice the whole time, you listen to other people. So I don't know, maybe we'll do that in the future. We'll see. I don't, there's no stop sign here. What are you stopping for? We are way past due for our headlights though, folks. So that'll be cool. We get to listen to a different voice that isn't mine. Might do two trips today, because this is actually going to be a quick trip up to New Mexico. Where are we bringing this? Hobbs to a warehouse. Lenar Warehouse in Hobbs, New Mexico. Hi. little bit of different scenery there in New Mexico than what we're used to in Texas. Is it much different? I don't I don't know. Maybe it's not. I mean it's kind of the same general area. Hot, dry sand. Although I have seen like I've seen pictures of Texas, guys. I'm not like I'm not um against the internet. I know what I know what places look like. I, I've done a little bit of research or watched videos or um, Texas I believe comes up on I don't watch a lot of those uh, animal cop shows like um, the fish and wildlife stuff those are kind of interesting and one of them I think is based out of Texas Lone Star Lone Star law maybe is the one that I'm thinking of so I know what Texas looks like a little bit anyway enough to know it's not all desert but I know Arizona is really hot. I have a friend that lives in Arizona. Pretty sure that is mostly desert. It's interesting to me. And I don't know if I haven't done my research on other countries, nor will I because I'm I'm just not going to spend that much time on it. But I wonder if other countries have such a diverse uh, environment. Oh boy, this isn't gonna go well. Yikes! He missed us. Uh, such a diverse environment like the United States. I mean, we have Alaska, which is, you know, cold and snowy. A Discord notification, I wonder what that's all about. And then we have uh, Florida and down south, southwest, which is hot and humid and gross and dry and gross. Did I say that already? Gross? It's gross down there? Gross? I don't know. I'm sure your body acclimates to it. I'm sure everybody's body acclimates to it a little differently. I know personally I would be miserable down there. However, I do want to get down there at some point and visit just to kind of see it. You know, I've been to New England all my life. I've gone to Florida a couple times. Been on cruise ships to different countries and the islands and stuff like that, you know, in the Caribbean. So I've, I've done my fair share of traveling, but never to the southwestern part of the country or even central United States. I think the farthest I've gone over um, was in an airport. I don't even know where though, I couldn't tell you that. And it, it wasn't very far. I mean, I, I have not um, traveled outside of New England very much. Um, this guy's letting us in, so we'll get over. Oh, flashing stop sign. I've never seen that before. That's kind of neat. I like that. Check both ways. He's turning, so that's good. They have a stop sign. Let them go, and then we'll go. cruising along 
Thank you, YouTube, for the halfway decent background music. It's good stuff for the most part, I guess. Played Battle Bit today. That's like the knockoff, cheaper, uh, Minecrafty Battlefield. It's exciting. It's on Steam. It's um, <laughs> quite an interesting experience. Uh, I'll say that. It's an interesting game. Um, if you like shooters, you'll like it. I think. If you like arcadey shooters, you'll like it. It's. Uh, I think 127 v 127 is the max, so it's it's quite big as far as player base. It just came out recently, I believe, and so far I'm I'm liking it. It's enjoyable. I think more so the uh, humorous factor of like what people say in proximity chat, because nobody, I mean, just nobody's gonna take that game seriously. It's really just go in there and mess around type of thing. Um, I enjoyed it a lot. Let's see if we can get around this guy. I enjoyed it. My friends that I was playing with enjoyed it. It's it's a fun game to play for sure. Um, so if you haven't checked that out, I would check that out. It's a fun game to pick up. We are... Getting there here. Some lights coming up. We need to actually get over here because we're going to be staying right. I don't think we're going to get the lights because we're not going left. We do have a yield though, so. Oh, God. Frame drops. I don't know if that's frame drops or just my. Uh, my mouse might be a little sticky. Not sticky, but snappy. Sensitivity might be up a little too high. It's alright. We'll roll with it. All we can do. Roll with what we're given. Oh, look at that. Some uh, a new town was discovered. Sweet deal. It's friggin' hot in here, dude. I'm sitting here sweating my ass off. unreasonably hot it's definitely because my computer is on and it's been on almost all day and the thing is like a space heater I um when I used to live in my parents house I had a smaller room and I actually told them to shut the vents off in my room so that I wasn't getting heat from the furnace because my computer generated so much heat that it was like the furnace was never coming on and my temperature in my room was already you know 68 70 whatever they had the house set to so I was just boiling in my room because like I shut the door they don't need to listen to me scream and holler you know talking to my friends or whatever but oh dude it was it was terrible <laughs> it was so hot in there and it's uh, getting close to that same feeling in here, which is not ideal at all. Sorry, we'll get through it. Get through it together.
kind of like this song. What is this? New Orleans Crawfish Boil. Okay. Sounds good. You've now seen a full nighttime rotation throughout this game, so that's cool. We uh, started... I haven't played this game unless I've been recording. It's been just just recording videos. I might post just this one. Might just do the one trip. I like keeping the videos small because a long video is a lot. Excuse me, a lot to commit to. And um, I know when I'm watching like a long video from a content creator, I usually keep it for like a night shift when I'm working. You know, 12 hours and. Um, Night shifts tend to be, knock on wood, less active. Not not um, not active. Like there's still activity, but I have more of a chance to like watch some of those videos and stuff on my console. So um, I tend to leave those for my night shifts and stuff. But I'm so behind on some of the the videos that I would like to watch, just because like sitting down and watching an hour long YouTube video. If you break it up, I don't I don't like to break it up. I'd like to get through the whole thing at once. And it's all fresh. You don't have to try to think about what happened previously. You just get to, you know, sit down, binge a whole video and then move on. So I try to keep these a little bit shorter. Not to say that like there won't be longer ones in the future because there definitely will be you know whether we are cruising here I'm gonna slow down a little bit I don't know whether it's a stream video those those will probably be a lot longer a couple hours at least or maybe some of the convoy stuff can be a little bit longer but I like to keep these trips to just you know one trip from point A to point B I don't really want to go over 30 minutes um, like to keep them somewhat small. Are we merging? No, just reducing speed and uh, we might be merging. No, nope, we're not. Not before we have to turn. So that works. But I get it, dude. I mean, I wouldn't want to. I wouldn't want to sit here and listen to me for an hour and a half, especially where. I feel like in a YouTube video, I'm, I'm, I wouldn't say looking for things to say, but, um, you know, you do have to kind of have an idea of what you want to say during them, because if not, you're just rambling on about nothingness. We got a turning light, so we'll go ahead and turn here. Turn into the parking lot. So our next left here. Oh, it looks like a looks like a warehouse, freight warehouse or something. It's kind of cool. Different than what we're used to. Usually delivering in um, like stores and stuff, or have been. Different scenery. All right, where do they want this? Ooh. You see me fail at doing a more advanced drop off. Where do they want it? I don't even see it. 
Oh, is it around the back side? Can I get over here? Maybe I can just pull through. Yeah, let's try it. I could be completely screwing myself here, but we won't know until we get around the back side of the building. Yeah, I know they'd expect it very soon. We're here. going in there? No. Where is it going? Is it going in there? Sure. It's probably going in the one spot that I can't get to. Yeah, of course. Oh, damn it. Can we sneak it? Yeah, we can. Okay, this won't be too bad, actually. This will be good. Come around here. Come around. Whoa! Cleared it. Line her up. Ish. Alright. Let's see what we can do. See how brutal I can screw this up. Oh, actually, we're not really poorly lined up. This is actually going to work out pretty well. Whoa! Wrong way. Didn't get a thumbnail before, so this may be a crappy thumbnail, but that's okay. Look at that! It's it's a little off, but not terrible. Hmm. Let's fix it just a little. I wonder if I pull it out straight, it might allow me to back in. I want it to go the other way, just a little. We don't need a lot. Just a, just a bit. There we go. Bring it back around. Light adjustments, ladies and gents. Light adjustments. Get this truck trailer right where they want it. Perfect. Sweet deal. Not exactly, but close. That's actually a cool. That would be a cool thumbnail, wouldn't it? Alright. Let's give her a delivery, shall we? We weren't late. We got some extra XP for some skills. Perfect. Well, that's going to do it for this one. Um, we will do some more truck sim very soon. Like I said, i got to work, so probably not within the next day or so. But I will have this video probably go out on Sunday. One scheduled for Saturday, today, and... I might be able to fit in a Sunday recording before I have to go to work, but we'll see. I might get something out for Monday. We will uh, we'll roll the dice. We'll see what happens. Anyway, we'll see you next time. Take care.